Hi, and welcome to module four. This is gonna be the module where we are gonna to start to learn about conditional statements. Those while statements, if then else, they're gonna be the statements that let us do iteration, which means that let us do something within our script until we tell it to stop. So we can say, please do all of these lines of code while a variable is equal to X, or if a variable is equal to X, do this, if it's equal to Y, do something else. Those are, that's the type of logic that we're gonna be talking about this week when we go over conditionals. So in this, in this module, we are going to also learn some additional terms. And some of those terms are gonna be like iteration. They're also gonna be syntax and Boolean logic. So we're gonna practice with all of that, those new terms and with all the new script logic, the things you will need for this module specifically are obviously Canvas where you are right now. And you will also need your textbook and don't forget to create a module for folder for yourself as you move through the module. So let's just see what we have in this module. So the first page is where you're gonna learn about and practice with the while loop. So you're gonna have several activities here where you type into idle and practice with the while loop and then read about in plain English what your computer is actually thinking as it goes through each of these while statements. So you're gonna get lots of practice at doing these short little while loops. And then we're gonna learn about Boolean expressions because when we do a while loop, we're actually asking for something to be evaluated as either true or false, and that is Boolean logic. So we're gonna learn about all these expressions that we call Boolean expressions and what they mean and how they affect our program. Very important is you're gonna learn the difference between the equal to versus equivalent to. So um, get ready for that. That's a very important concept when it comes to coding and asking questions if something is equal to it or equivalent to it. You're also gonna learn about the concept of conditionals and looping. Here in part two, we're gonna introduce the if then else statement. Just like you did with while, you're gonna practice with those if then statements. Inside of idle, inside that, why, uh, that uh, excuse me, that shell window is where you're gonna do that. And then you're gonna go on and do a little bit more with syntax, learning about how to set up those while loops and those and combine them with some if statements. So you can combine your looping concepts to get even more power out of your programs. Lastly on that, you're gonna end up with um, what's called L if, which just is short for else if. So it's a way to have multiple if statements within your line of code. All right, and the summary for this module is a quiz. So after doing all of those activities, um, typing into idle, I cannot stress how important it is for you to type those items into idle. You typing them in and seeing them execute for yourself and you sometimes even typing an incorrect text stroke or forgetting to put the parentheses around a print statement or forgetting to end your print state your print string with the proper quotation marks, making those little mistakes is how you learn to code. It's how you're going to learn to not be stressed out or nervous about a blank screen when you go to write some of your code. So please, um, you guys have signed up for the class. I trust you wanna learn the material. And at this point, learning the material is taking the time to type that code into your Python windows. So after you take that quiz, you land our nice, on our nice little uh, Python from Jungle Book who's telling you that you are done with this module. So as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask and good luck with the module.